Miramar Fire Rescue Department consists of five fire stations strategically located along Miramar Parkway running east to west. There's 161 men and women who serve the fire department. Out of those, 151 are certified firefighter paramedics. We are an all-hazards fire department, meaning we respond to all types of emergencies. We run approximately 12,000 calls for service per year. The Miramar Fire Rescue Department was built on a culture of being pioneers. We were the first to do a lot of things in our area in EMS, a lot of innovative ideas. We were the first to do external pacing. We were the first to do electronic patient care reporting. We were the first to do 12 lead EKGs. We were the first to do Redivase, which is a clot busting drug. And now we're the first to do telemedicine using FaceTime for our stroke program. Well, the FaceTime process works where our field paramedics assess patients and identify probable stroke type patients and assign a quantitative number through the race scale. Once they identify that number, they make contact with the neurointerventionalist, who is the physician who helps uh, reverse the stroke in the cath lab. And the, the purpose of the FaceTime app is to allow the physician to basically be on scene, although they are at a remote location, in order to get a better clinical picture or understanding of what how the patient may present. Thank you. All right, that looks like a two. I, I don't see any nasolabial fold. What's the total score once you uh, count that as a two? The race scale is a quantitative scale which is utilized in the pre-hospital setting to help identify a large vessel obstruction type strokes. And those, uh, also known as LVOs, um, are associated with high risk for morbidity and mortality. We have seen positive results as a result of what we are doing here in the field. Uh, in years 2013 to 2014, we uh, identified 32 cases which revealed a door to catheterization time of 188 minutes. Following the implementation of the FaceTime application along with the race scale, that time was reduced in years 2014 to 2015, which included specifically 115 cases, a uh, median time of 82 minutes from door to catheterization. So that's a huge improvement and is a, uh, a testament to what we are doing is working. Welcome to Miramar FD Radio, where our primary mission is to protect, serve, and educate our community with pride and professionalism. And here's your host, Jose A. Gregorsch. Social media is extremely important. The importance lies behind the ability to reach as many people as possible, where if we were to set up a special demo here at the station, you may not get that many people on scene, but by posting it on cyberspace, it's available for just the entire world to capture that message. Number one benefit to the public on social media is, is they're able to stay updated with everything that's going on locally here in the fire department. But more importantly, we're able to reach a lot of children that we hadn't been able to reach uh, before through budgetary cuts and things of that nature. Public education was unfortunately one of the first things that was cut in our department. And so we needed a different way to be able to reach uh, these people. And uh, like I said, especially with children, we found that the social media was a tremendous tool to be able to reach that whole section of our, of our uh, population. Our number one benefit has been access to our local residents. We were having open houses before and we just weren't seeing the numbers we wanted to see showing up out here. And uh, some of the messages that we were trying to put out were extremely important, things on drowning prevention, things of that nature. So what we found was that by using social media, we could reach a much broader audience and get that important message out to a much larger number of people. One of the things we're most proud of has been our partnership with the media. We've been able to increase our relationship with them by providing them with up-to-date and concise and accurate information. And we consider ourselves an extension, really, of our, our local media partners. We've been able to work with them and providing them with latest and greatest of whatever is going on in our city. We've uh, maintained, especially our credibility. Credibility is extremely important to us. And, and for them to be able to get what is going on directly from us has been extremely important to them and something they're very grateful for. The Fire Academy class is a Fire One certification class at the high school. It's a partnership between Miramar Fire Rescue and Everglades High School. It's a three-year program. It starts in their 10th grade year all the way up to their senior year. The first class that we've had started back in 2014. The largest challenge that we had was taking a college-level curriculum and bringing it into the high school. 
we overcame this challenge by using their first two years of the program and keeping it in the classroom. So they'll have two years of classroom knowledge before we go outside and practice everything hands-on, raising ladders, all the typical training that we would do in the real world. Well, since the programs run hand-in-hand -in -hand with the Miramar Fire Department, they get a real good taste, idea of what it's like to be a firefighter in the real world. Not only on the academy setting, but with, within the department as well. The third year class is going to start the new curriculum of the Fire 2 certification. What that means is Fire 1 certification, they can become a volunteer firefighter. Fire 2 certification, they can actually apply for a job as a firefighter. So now starting in their senior year, they're going to be completing the Fire 2 hours, and once they graduate, take the state test and become Fire 2 certified and be eligible to have a career as a firefighter. I hope that our department continues to grow and continues to build on the culture of being pioneers in the EMS and fire service. If we continue to, to do that and we continue to grow and think outside the box, it'll only make us better in the future.